What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. This video is going to be a very different video than I usually post. I actually decided to film this on a whim. I was making my food for my lunch and doing my coffee and everything. And then I had a nudge to just talk to you guys. So I didn't script this video. Um, I don't even know if I'll post this video, but I did feel a nudge to record myself kind of processing all the thoughts that are going through my mind right now. And so right now it's a Friday. What day is it today? It's Friday, December 20th. I don't know if you can see. Ooh, there you go. It's Friday, December 20th, almost 1.30 PM in the afternoon. And um, I've been thinking a lot lately about 2020 and all of that. And I had a lot of you ask me for my 2020 goals. I even had one of my students, Belinda. Belinda, if you're watching this, you're amazing. She asked our Facebook group in my paid program what everyone's 2020 goals were. And I honestly looked at her post for a really long time and I was very honest with her. And I mean what I said, and I said, I need to really sit and think about it. And um, today I actually took a day off from my business. I messaged my team saying, Hey, I can't do this right now. I just got to take a break. And so this is my break that I'm taking from my business just today. And, uh, I really wanted to take this break to talk or not to talk, but I guess I'm talking now talking through my problems. Um, but to just process what I actually want to achieve in 2020, like, I don't know. And for once in my life, like I actually don't know what I want and I feel very stressed and anxious and excited and like all these different feelings that are hitting me all at once like today. And that's why I had to completely shut down and just say, I need to take a break. I can't think and I can't, I, I just need to take a breather. And so I want to talk about 2020 goals and everything like that. Originally in my Asana plan, and by the way, if you guys want to see how I batch my videos for YouTube, you can check out this video. But basically for my uh, plan that I had, I was going to do a full blown video about goal setting for entrepreneurs and everything like that. But this doesn't feel right to me considering the fact that I don't even know what my goals are. I don't even know how to set my own goals. And yeah, so that's why I think I'm going to do this instead and just kind of walk you guys through my thought process of just reflecting back on 2019, what happened to me and my business, business that I didn't have before, and what I wanna do next year, or what I think I wanna do next year, or what I think I should do next year. Like, I don't even know what I want right now. And so, reflecting back on the year, like, 2019 was crazy. I started this channel in 2018, if July, and then I launched my coaching business in January of, 2019 and like that's gonna be a month from now a year later and then I had this one video um, This video go viral. I had two videos go viral actually I had this video go semi-viral which was about me quitting my corporate job That was the first video that like a lot of you guys have found me through but majority of the subscribers here on my channel and even people who follow me on Instagram they found me through this video and so this video like I didn't have a lot of control over it going viral. I mean, I have videos talking about like me reverse engineering how my channel grew after that video and how I capitalized on that video, but it was really out of my control. And so for a long time in my business, I've always kind of felt like my success was an accident and it really um, affect the way that I talk to you guys or mentor you guys or coach my clients is because I don't know how to replicate what I did. Like, I don't know how I can replicate that for someone else. And I guess that leads to a lot of imposter syndrome, feeling like your success was an accident or, you know, feeling like it was a fluke. And that was something that I've been dealing with the past year. And, you know, obviously a lot of you guys look up to me and a lot of other entrepreneurs who have been in the game for years, who haven't even achieved what I've achieved, which I'm so grateful for in just one year alone, like everyone puts that on a pedestal and that is awesome. And I'm so grateful and I feel blessed and all these different things, but there are times where it stresses me out like no other 
because I don't know how I got here. Oh my God, what the hell am I tearing up? Like, I don't know how I got here and um, it, it stresses me out about next year. Like, I don't know. Like, I think I'm just going through something right now and I'm just filming myself and I don't know if I'm gonna post this. I don't, I don't even have makeup on. Like I have lashes obviously, but yeah, I don't know. Like I just, yeah, I don't know. And then, this video, by the way, is gonna be all over the place. And this isn't really for anyone who wants to learn tactics or strategies. This is just like a video diary right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I got here. And I know sometimes I like think back and like, no, I try to change my mindset. I'm like, no, I did this on, it's not an accident. It's on purpose. Like anyone could have a video go viral, but no one can, not everyone can build a community like I have. And not everyone can, um, yeah, just built what we've built so far with all of you guys who are watching this right now. Like not everyone can do that. And that was me and you doing it together. And it, and, and I, I acknowledge that. But there's another piece that I'm, that's, that I'm thinking about too. And that is I, because of the income, okay? I'm gonna be very candid with you guys. Because of the income that my business has made, it obviously allows me access to higher level masterminds. It allows you access to meet other entrepreneurs that are making similar, if not more money in their business. And that's something that you guys got to realize too, that I have now really understood is that I can see why the rich get richer and I can see why like all successful people hang around each other. Like for me, um, it wasn't until I, grew my channel and grew my income where people that I looked up to would reach out to me to mastermind together or to go for coffee together or to collaborate. Like I remember a year ago when I was like nobody and I still think that I'm not like crazy big, but like when I was a nobody, I was like, why the, how the heck is like this person hang out with this person? And like, how does everyone know each other in the industry? Like, I don't understand. And now I do because your money buys you you know, the access to masterminds, to higher level networks, to meet other people, which is an awesome thing. It's amazing. But I guess I'm just not used to it. Like because of the money I've made, I've obviously invested in masterminds, coaching programs, all these other mentors and stuff. And that has allowed me access to other entrepreneurs that I look up to and yada, yada, yada. And then at these, um, you know, when we have these conversations, it's always like, so what do you want? What do you want to do? Like, what's your goal? Um, how do you want to grow? How do you want to scale? How do you want to do all these things? And I'm like, I don't know. I really don't know. And like, I see, you know, other coaches and people or other people in my industry, like, you know, running their own masterminds, running their own events, starting e-commerce businesses. Um, I see people just getting amazing results for their clients. I see so many things at the higher level now. Like basically, I guess the TLR, TLDR of this is like, when you level up, you're still gonna compare yourself to other people in your space, but just at a higher level. Like Tony Robbins is still, is probably comparing himself with like Russell Brunson or like people higher level up, you know what I mean? Like, and that's kind of what I'm feeling is happening with this level up that I'm experiencing is like, I'm still comparing myself to other people and I'm thinking, and I'm feeling like I need to answer those questions. How am I gonna get to seven or eight figures? How am I gonna scale? Um, do you want to do a mastermind? Do you want to do uh, VIP days? Do you want to run your own retreat in Bali? Do you want to do all these things? And I just don't know what I want to do. Like it's just this whole business fell on my lap this year and I'm still adjusting to this, like this I'm still adjusting to. I'm still adjusting to being a business owner for like my first time in my life. And because of the growth, it's, you know, the conversations are different and I, I'm so grateful for these conversations, but it stresses me out. I don't know what I wanna do and I don't know who I am and I don't know like where I wanna take this thing. Like I didn't think that far and all the conversations that are happening during this time period of going into 2020 is always, what do you wanna do next year? 
How are you going to grow? How are you going to turn, you know, your half a million dollar business into a $2 million business? And these are things that I definitely want to do. Like, you know, I don't think there's a problem with wanting to create more income and impact and everything like that, but it's like, how do you want to do it? How do I want to do it? I don't know. I know it's possible for me just as it's possible for you watching this. Okay. I don't want any of you watching this to think that I'm special or that I'm, you know, any different than you. And if anything, I hope this video makes you feel a little bit better about yourself because I don't have my shit together, but it's like, there's so many ways to make money and you just gotta know like how like the how no, no no let me rewind rewind what i said there are so many different hows okay there's so many different ways to make this money but which way is going to make you happy which way is going to make you feel alive which way is going to make you feel like you're in integrity which way is going to make you feel like wow i've built something i'm proud of and i want it to continue and i don't want it to stop right and um it's funny because in my own facebook group my free one so my free one is turn your followers into clients it used to be called fearless boss network but now it's called turn your followers into clients um i'll share the post that i posted in my group i asked my group there's like thirteen thousand people in there i asked them how much money do you want to make? And why do you want to make that money? Like, you know, and a lot of people said 10 K months, 10 K months, 10 K months, 10 K months. And Elena will probably be, do a good job at showing you guys the comments of that group if you're not in it. And I, I asked the question, not for a strategic reason. I was just very curious to know what people's income goals were that they would be happy with in order to sustain, you know, their dream life or whatever. And when I see that, I'm like, why 10K? Like, why? And I know that for me, that's what I wanted too. I was like, I want 10K months, blah, blah, blah. But now it's like, what happens after you get there? Okay, cool. You made the 10K month. What's next? And that's exactly how I feel right now because the money, like, I, and, I, and I don't ever want to feel like ungrateful. I am so, so grateful. And I don't want this video to come off that way at all. And that's also why I'm contemplating posting this because I don't want people to feel like, oh, first world problems, right? But it's it's like when you actually start, I, I, and I know that a lot of you guys watching this, you want to make your first 5K month in your business or your 10K month or whatever. But what happens after you make that? Like I made my first 5K month and then I made my first 10K month and then I made my first 50K month and then I made my first 100K month. This month in December, I made $100,000. Like, wow crazy like what the what the heck right crazy like i'm just mind blowing like i can't believe this is my life right now i can't believe this is my reality but what happens after that like and that's why i'm like really don't know how to goal set yeah i could say oh i want to make us i want to have a seven figure business next year but i know from me having the experience of hitting that 5K month that I was dying to hit and hitting that 10K month that I was dying to hit and then hitting the 100K month that I thought was impossible to hit. Nothing changes, nothing changes. And I'm like, what do I really want? Like, and so now with goal setting and how I've changed my goal setting ways, you know, I don't really like to do actual goals now because the sky's the limit. And I think that, you know, I just don't like the idea of being like, I must do this this year. And if I don't, that's going to say something about me. And if I do, that's going to also say something about me. I don't like that. And I've, I'm a big believer of um, the desire map. So this is a book that I read. I've talked about it before in an old video of mine, but this is a book that I really loved reading. It was from Danielle Laporte. It's kind of like a workbook and a book. And it changed the way that I set goals. And I kind of forgot about this book until like now that I'm really reflecting, I'm literally taking the day off right now to think about these things and filming this video to like walk my ideas through because I was like, oh my God, I need to like talk about this with someone, but I don't know who to talk about it. Like, I don't know who to talk to about these things. But anyways, okay, so what was I, what was I saying? I was saying um, the desire map. So like, how she sets goals and how I set my goals before I my business blew up, which I, yeah, I'll talk about that later. Before my business blew up was about based on feelings, okay? How do I wanna feel next year? How do I wanna feel this year? Because if you choose the feelings that you wanna have in your life, 
you're gonna be able to really choose the opportunities or say no to things, say yes to things that would give you that feeling. So I remember last two years ago, one of my, um, one of my intentions or one of my feelings that I wanted to have was I want to feel purposeful. I want to feel alive. And there was another one. I think it was like, I want to feel radiant or something like that. I don't remember. And that was when I was like really hating my job so that my goals, my feelings was very like anti-corporate. Like I was not feeling purposeful at my corporate job. I was not feeling alive at my corporate job. And so I set the intention 2019 or 2018. I don't remember when I set this goal. I'm only going to say yes to things that make me feel purposeful, alive, and I really don't remember what the third one was. I wanna say radiant, but I don't think that was it because I don't think that was it. But anyways, that was how I set my goals. And because my business blew up and you know, my, that video went viral and this whole like, you know, big blessing came to my life, I stopped thinking about how I wanted to feel. I stopped caring about how I wanted to feel. All I cared about was what is efficient, what, what will make me money? Um, what does everyone else want from me? And I think that I say this a lot on my channel, like when you're starting out, really think about what your audience wants from you, right? And I still stand by that. But sometimes it's important to also think about what you want, right? And also to realize it's not just about the money. Like I was so money motivated when I first started the business, uh, not even before I started the business, I was like, oh my God, I was working as a freaking, minimum wage barista like obviously i was thinking about making money and obviously making an impact because i literally just saw so many people in pain at their corporate job I'm like just quit already you know and i know it's hard to take that advice from me considering the fact that i'm sweeping cigarette butts at a coffee shop but just quit already like it's not it's um it's sad to want to stay at a job that you hate for the rest of your life but now I need to follow my own advice because in my own business, there are things that I'm doing or things that I have planned for 2020 that I thought would be the right thing to do because everyone else in the coaching or YouTube space or you know the industry that I'm in, the digital product space is doing. And I feel like I need to do it, so I'm gonna do it. And my audience wants this, my clients want this from me, they want more of this, they want me to do masterminds, they want me to do way more than what I'm offering now. And I know that people would be willing to pay for it. I know that I can do an, I can create a good impact from it. But do I want that? Like, and I'm not saying that I'm not gonna do those things. Absolutely not. I'm just like brain, just word vomiting things right now. But it's like, what do I want? Like, do I want to do that? Do I want to be a public speaker? Do I want to write a book? Do I want to start an agency? Do I want to always talk about social media for the rest of my life? Do I want to do, you know, just courses? Do I want to have higher level masterminds like everyone else's? Do I want, do I, I don't know. Like, I really don't know. And so anyways, there is no lesson to this video. But I think maybe one of the key takeaways I'd love for you guys to walk away from is like, no one has their shit together. And I know a lot of you guys are like, I want to, once I hit a 10K month, it'll be fine. Once I hit six figure business, I'll be fine. Once I hit this, I'll be fine. No, no, I like, I have been in so many different types of conversations with people that aren't that are at the 5k level or wanting to hit the 5k level per month, the 10k level, the 50k level, the 100k level per month, and people who are making way more than that per month. And no one has their shit together. Everyone is still thinking probably the same thing that I'm thinking. What do I want? Like, I don't know. But anyways, it's like 20, this video is 20 minutes long. So I don't even know if anyone is still watching this or if I'm even gonna post this, but that's it. For 2020, I don't know what I wanna do. And I think that's gonna be okay. I think I need to spend some more time to think. And I don't have an inspirational video for you guys about setting goals. I really don't, but I can say this, think about how you want to feel think about how you want to yeah just think about how you want to feel like i know for me right now for 2020 i'm thinking about how i want to feel but also how i want you guys to feel what's the legacy that i want to leave behind you know 
what is what do I want my community to feel when they interact with me? Like these are things that I'm thinking about and I'm not thinking about, I don't want to, I, I still get sucked into it, but I really wanna try not to think about what is everyone else doing? What are all these other seven to eight figure entrepreneurs doing that is so like best practice because this is my business, my life at the end of the day. And if I'm building my business because of a blueprint everyone else has followed, I don't know if I'll be happy with this business. I don't know if I'll last long here. <laughs> um, and yeah, like I'm really thinking about these things. Like how do I want, and we're thinking out loud here, okay? Like how do I want it to be seen? How do I want to feel every day in my business? How do I want other people in my community to feel when they interact with my content, when they interact with my products and my services and just me, right? How do you guys want to feel? Like, how do I want you guys to feel? What do I want you guys to walk away with? And what do I want to walk away with? How can I make my business more meaningful beyond money, just meaningful to me? And there's a huge question mark around that. And I don't know, but I do can't, I can't say I'm enjoying what I've done so far. I'm proud of what I, we've accomplished so far. And I, the last thing that I want is for this video to come off as pretentious. It's not, it's me just being lost as fuck and not knowing what I want to do and having a heart to heart with you guys with my Nespresso that I haven't even drank yet. And my lunch that I also haven't even touched. Um, because I would have journaled about this. I honestly, everything that I've said so far, I would have journaled about it. I probably will still continue to journal since I took the day off to reflect about this. But um, this is kind of like a video diary of what's going on in my mind. And I hope that you guys, I don't know, get something out of it or I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy the video <laughs> if I post it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the next step is, but I hope that some of you guys will still stay with me along the ride as I try to figure it out, as I carve my own path in this very, very saturated market of entrepreneurs um, and business coaches and everything like that. I really hope that you guys um, can, will stick by me. And if not, I wish you all the best too. And you know, yeah, I don't know how to end this video, but uh, that's it. Uh, I hope you guys have a great day. You guys already know how much I appreciate you. I hope you guys, yeah, have a great day, a great week and a great life. And I'll see you in the next one. But no, seriously, guys, I appreciate you. And thanks for hearing me out and, you know, comment below and let me know how it was like watching this video and, you know, what you think you'd like to see from me in my business, even though that's what I'm trying to also not always think about two. Like I also want to think about what I want as well. Um, but yeah, talk soon guys. I'll see you in the next video. It's not going to be like this. It's probably going to be the usual. What's up everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Blah, 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 blah. Tip number one, tip number two. And those videos will still happen, but I hope that, you know, just wanted to connect with you guys in this way. Okay. Bye guys.